found myself being a patient at Family Park Hospital when I found a lump in my breast. I've never been in a hospital before. I've had no experience before in being hospitals. Um, so yeah, it was a bit, a bit of a shock. Um, and I found myself very much a full-time patient at Frimley Park last year. Frimley Park's located in Surrey. Um, Frimley Park serves about 400,000 catchment population. We were inspected in July and August. Uh, of 14 and we were fortunate to get the first outstanding rating. Of course I never wanted to be at the hospital, I never wanted to have to have treatment because I had cancer, um, but I was treated so well, so fairly, so kindly, I was given dignity, I was treated as an individual, not just another patient. It's the culture that determines um, the quality of services that are provided. Leadership is the key ingredient and you've, in any organisation, if, if you want good leadership, you've somehow got to connect the top with the bottom. Clinical leadership is where I believe the doctors and nurses and actually healthcare professionals within an organisation direct and actually drive both the delivery and quality improvement for patients. And the most important thing is having that engagement between the clinical staff and the rest of the hospital. Listening to staff is really, really important. So we've had a, a listening into action programme and we've tried to get people engaged from all levels of the organisation. We have a very narrow management structure. So from the healthcare assistant um, on the ward all the way to chief executive, it shouldn't be more than four steps. But actually we like just walking around and people just saying, Tim, there's an issue here. Can I talk to you about it? Everybody's visible, um, many of us are clinical, the heads of nursing and matrons, we work with our ward staff, um, making sure that, that, that they feel that if they need to come and talk to us they can, we have an open door policy, so I make it very clear to all of my staff, whatever level, that they can come and talk to me about anything they want to. And doing that you get the best out of everybody and people feel valued. If you feel valued in an organisation you're more likely to give your best, go that extra mile. Most people come to work thinking I'm going to do a cracking job. So it's about how you can marshal that enthusiasm, how you can master it so that you actually deliver change consistently. I'm empowered in my role. I'm allowed to make decisions relating to my own areas and I have that autonomy. But then I know in the background I also have the support as well from my head of nursing and also my director of nursing. It's giving people permission to do whatever they want to do around improving patient care. We believe teamwork is the absolute key. It's one of our you know, principles, working together. It's one of our core values, which the staff came up with, by the way. Facing the future, committed to excellence and working together. And they are really are a part of our working life at Frimley. Everything we strive towards incorporates our values. And if we get that right, we know that we can deliver fantastic care to our patients. I was very much having to put all my faith and trust in these people I've never known, these strangers. So it's very important that they make sure that you feel like you're cared for and looked after, which, which they did. The little things mean an awful lot and that's what we've tried to do in this organisation about making everyone feel special as if it's their own mum and dad that you know, is standing in front of them. I can't thank them enough what they've done and how they treated me. They've treated me so well.